I'ma need y'all to blow the trumpets on this. How can we ever forget? And can you start to send any Negro or slave? Any Negro or slave offering any violence to a Christian by striking or the like is to be severely whipped by the constable. Constable, stop. Stop. We, got, we can't gloss over this history anymore. Any Negro or slave offering any violence to a Christian. I thought we were Christians. I thought we were Christians. I was Christian my whole life. Wow. You, you see, you have to dissect this. Any Negro or slave offering any violence to a Christian, Roman, Catholic, Protestant, Methodist, he read on any Negro or slave offering any violence to a Catholic, Christian, Roman, pagan, Gentile by striking or the like is to be severely whipped by the police, by the police, by the that's why we don't like constable. the police. The first police, what were they, family? Slave uh, catchers. Slave catchers. Okay. The rollers, the slave patrollers. That's why we don't like the police. It's inherent in us. And five dollar in you, and who were Israelite? Well, but five dollar, five dollar, right? So we 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 inherited a disdain for these fake law enforcement from our great grandfathers inside of us who was hiding bushes. Our great grandmothers who knew they could pick them up and rape them anytime. So that disdain we got for police is inherent in your DNA because they were the slave patrol. So now. Any Negro or slave, if you strike a Christian, the police can pick you up. Read on. Or the light is to be severely whipped by the const constable and for his second offense of that nature, not only to be severely whipped and burnt in some part of his face with a hot iron, but to have, matter of fact, hold on. Who does that look like in the picture? I'm a star. Come. <laughs> but um, to have his nose slit, mm. unless, of course, such striking of a Christian be in the lawful defense of a slave master mm. or mistress. My mammy. I'm defending my mammy and my master. So now you can't whoop me. But just let you know, just because you see a brother darkly impact like me, and I got scars in my face, don't mean I'm a Hamite. I could have been punished. That's why we got to go and dig all this history up. And you just can't be running with all these captain heroes on, on YouTube telling you oh, he's a Hamite. You don't know who's who anymore. Well, what, what do you mean? What do you mean by that, Mara? Um, like um, you could have had the scars because you could have been punished. Was Hebrews not punished? Well, he just said, uh, he's saying, if if I if I was to strike a Christian without just cause, I'm not defending my, my, my master or my mistress, they can burn my face. They can put marks on my face. So just because you see a dark person, I'm, I'm going to try to be civil about this. Unlearned people or indoctrinated people will see a dark man with, with marks on his face and say, see, Hamites do that. He's a Hamite. Those are tribal marks. It could very well, I've been punished for being a runaway or for hitting a Christian. Gotcha. You're talking about the tribal, the tribal markings and stuff. Right. Some of these, some of these gotcha. online gurus uh, see a dark person with marks in his face and say, he ain't no Israelite, he's a Hamite. You can't do that. You can't, you can't be, you can't teach on the surface. That's how you lead people astray. Now you got your whole organization calling this Israelite a Hamite. That's the point we bring it out. Salaki so Amora, I would um I would also add a caveat too. I was just researching something yesterday and I heard um a sister in the faith mention that uh massa in Hebrew meant oppressor. So whenever our people would say massa, they knew that um they called it because they knew that word meant oppressor, that they were being oppressed by the uh by the by the Europeans. Con. These, these, remember, we was around uh, the uneducated. We was around the criminals who became 
and because the wealthy ones who own the plantations, they're not living, they're not working with us. So they hire these degenerates who are criminals of Europe to come run to be the overseers. So these overseers are illiterate anyway, but they thought we were speaking broken English. We wasn't speaking broken English. We were speaking Hebrew. They thought we were dumber than them. They thought we was dumber than them. <laughs> so when we out there singing and you you off rhythm trying to keep up with us and we're singing Kumbaya, them dumb niggers can't even say come. They're trying to say come by. No, we ain't saying come by. We're saying come by, come by ya. We're telling my brother down that road who I see him rubbing his back. I'm telling him rise up in ya or ya is going to rise up and get us out of here. So kumbaya is not broken English. It's the Hebrew dialect that they brought from Africa. Just like Massa. Massa is the Hebrew dialect they brought from Africa. All of these are breadcrumbs of who we are. This is untold history. Untold history. Hello, we y'all. Will you stop that out? Um, the Acts. The Act refers to the many heinous and grievous crimes such as murders, burglaries, highway robbery, rape, incendiarism, Bur burning alive, committed many times by Negroes and other slaves. Mm -hmm as well as their stealing, killing, or maiming horses, mares, gelding cattle, or sheep. Okay. The owner of any slave executed judicially for his crimes is to be compensated by the state for the loss of a slave, mm -hmm. which value shall never exceed the sum of 25 sterling. Mm -hmm. No person of the Hebrew nation was allowed to keep or employ more than one Negro or other slave. What'd you say, I No person of the Hebrew nation was allowed to keep or employ more than one Negro or other slave. Why couldn't a Hebrew employ more than one slave? Because I'm, I'm kind of guessing, but they could just bow all their people back. Mm. So now if no Hebrew can own more than one slave because you're scared I'm going to buy all my family back or we're going to rise up and y'all know the colonizers had plantations of slaves so they, they can't be Hebrews, right? Because if you own more than one slave you can't be Hebrew according to this law. Read it again. The Hebrews, no person of the Hebrew nation was allowed to keep or employ more than one Negro or other slave. Thus, those people who own plantations are not Hebrew. Hebrew. So what do the Hebrews look like? Not like the plantation owners. Not like the Khazars. Y'all see this history? If you're still on the fence and doing research and you're doubting, if you descend from the Abraham, from the true dark Hebrews, it's in their books. They That's know we were over here. Not all of us were slaves. Some of us bought their freedom back. Some of us did have good uh, masses who were righteous and says, you paid off your debt, you're free. So we had free Hebrews became known as free men. And but to keep us from rising up, the colonizer says, okay, Yasha, Yah, you're a free Hebrew, but you can't own more than one slave because we don't want you buying all the Hebrews and we don't want y'all rising up. This is untold history to let you know we are the people of the book. 